Hey guys, welcome to CW Tech. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and doing a disassembly of a Dell Precision 5820 engineering workstation. Let's get to it. So, first, this machine is configured with a 10900 Extreme CPU, 64 gigs of DDR4, 2 terabyte SSD, and an NVIDIA RTX A2000. Let's take a look at this thing. First, it comes in a box. Pretty big box. Um, let's take this thing out. I tell you what, we're going to turn this thing upside down and take a look at it here. This box is massive. For reference, I am 6'4", and it's a big boy. So let's pull this guy open here and take a look at it. Whew. Yeah. She big. Um, all right, let's lay this cap down and see what comes in here. First, we have a little box inside of the big box. What's in here? All right, so looks like we have some basic adapters. We have one, two, three. We have four mini display port to full size display port adapters. We have a standard power cable and yeah, a little bit of warranty. Cards information, we don't care about that. Nothing fun, nothing exciting there. Yeah, let's take this thing apart. Let's look at it. Foam. Not to scratch this thing, want to make sure it's all pretty. Another piece of foam. This thing's pretty heavy too. This machine is specced um, about 20, yeah, 2700 bucks. Um, you know, so for really what you get, it's. Um, it's not that bad. It's interesting that you can still get a 10th gen Extreme CPU in 2023. Um, you know, I think it's just low stock still, um, and not many Dells are coming with a 13, with a 13900 series. Uh, you can get a ton of Xeons, um, but their their configuration is kind of weird on on their site still. So, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. So, ah, on the front, yeah, Dell Precision. Extreme CPU badge down there. Um, let's take a look at the front I.O. What do we got? It's so big. Um, we have two uh, USB, uh, USB 3.0. We have two USB-C. We have one full-size SD card slot with a um, headphone microphone combo. On the back, we have some additional I.O. We have another. Uh, two 3.5 millimeter. Um, Audio microphone, we have serial, PS2 ports, uh, one gig ethernet. Then we have six USB 3 USB ports and four mini display ports on the back of the A2000. Um, keep in mind it's, a, it's a RTX A2000, it's a RTX series. So yeah, boy, this is a big boy. Um, to get into the side panel, poke this, lift it up, it's gonna pivot towards me and that's gonna get us inside the machine. So. Let's take a look at this thing. Um, you know, really not that daunting. Um, we can get to a lot of stuff in here just kind of out of the gate. So let me move the camera closer and let's take a look at it. All right, let's look at this thing. Um, inside, RTX A2000 right there. Um, we have three more PCI Express slots, one old school PCI slot down here. Um, interesting that they still include that. Um, on this one we have an additional two looks like PCI um, ports here. The, these machines can go all the way up to the A5000 GPU. Um, you can actually get multiple but it's going to come with a different power supply uh, with additional cables so nice that these are included and sitting right here um, and they clip in on this little thing which is kind of nice. So um, yeah let's uh, get to the memory. Let's take a look at what the memory is. Um, Two fingers here, we're gonna pinch this. This is gonna take off the heatsink uh, fan assembly here. Um, we have eight slots. Now, this, even though this is a 
a 10 9, or, uh, yeah, 10 900 k CPU, we have quite a bit of memory slots. Now this machine also comes configured with um, some some Xeon CPU. So if you're going to upgrade the memory in this thing, um, you're going to want to check Dell's website or what I like to do. I like to go to the Crucial Memory Finder, punch in the exact model of this, and it'll tell you exactly what's supported. Um, just make sure you check Dell's website on. Uh, different CPU SKUs and RAM builds um, because if you get the Xeon CPU you may have to get a certain number of sticks you may not can just run with 232 gig sticks or if you do it has to be a certain speed so check out their um, their their memory kind of policy and their memory requirements on Dell's website uh, I can show you how to do that later um, so yeah that is super simple to get to this memory I mean literally not even a screw um, the side panel just pops right off um, the the fan assembly comes right off, no screws necessary. That's going to get to the memory, it's going to get to the CPU. Um, if you ever need to change the thermal paste, obviously right there you can. Um, interesting, this does have, uh, looks like a um, some, some of the mini SAS controllers or some of the mini SAS ports. I'm just going to go up to the front of this thing, I'll show you how, how the drives are in a minute. Um, but yeah, that's going to really get to all of that stuff. So. The drives in this machine are located right here on this front bottom bay. Now, this has a little button right here that you're gonna press to get into it, but it's locked. There is a button right here. There is a lock and unlock button. So you're going to press this lock, this unlock button in right here. It's gonna loosen the lock on this bottom, and this piece is gonna, gonna flip that. This piece is gonna roll down here. And then we're gonna get to the front of the drive base. Um, so this machine is a single NVMe and it's kind of interesting how they do this. That's where the NVMe is right here. So let's see how to get to this guy. Um, gonna press that thing in apparently. This little piece is gonna slot out. And then look at that. Little uh, drive cage here. Um, kind of proprietary port. It's a very typical Dell thing. Let's take this thing apart. Let's see what this looks like. Um, the other base here um, we have three 2.5 or, or uh, we have three SSD or spinning rust slots here. So let's see if they actually included the cages. Dell's notoriously horrible about doing um, little half cages where you can't actually use it. You gotta buy it from them. So to do that, we're gonna press this little button right here. Oh, look at that, full size cage. So this is a toolless design. Um, these little pieces right here, just gonna kind of poke out. And then as you slide your drive in, they're just gonna push right back in. Uh, this is spec'd with a standard solid state that's gonna fit in here. This is going to pop out to fit a full-size hard drive. Nice that they actually included that. Um, and then if you put it in right, let's in here. Let's see if they're all like this. I assume they are. Here's the second one. So that is actually nice because Dell is horrible about doing this. Where they include the little half ones that. Then you have to go back to their site and buy the drive cage. So. Yeah, let's take apart this drive real quick, because really, that's about it inside of this thing. I mean, there's really nothing else inside of here that we would have to do. Um, you know, the the typical things you're going to do for these kind of builds, you're going to get to the memory, get to the CPU, get to the, uh, the graphics card. Guys, it's all right here. 100% um, toolless. Um, memory's right there. Hard drives are in the front. Um, to get to the GPU, very simple. Once you get the cage off, again, all toolless. These two little blue blue slots right here, you're gonna push these guys in. One, two, this is gonna rotate up. And that's gonna to get to your card. Um, this card, this PCI slot doesn't even have a kind of keeper. Card's just gonna pull straight out. Look at that, so easy. Uh, this is an OEM card. Um, it is direct from NVIDIA. So, uh, you know, kind of similar to like a founder's card. Um, very simple, small form factor. A little bitty blower fan, look at that. Um, yeah, so two, four, five PCI Express 16 slots, one standard PCI Y. Hell if I know. I don't know. Maybe you're going to put a weird controller card in here. Um, but yeah, so that's it. I wonder, can I put the 4080 in here? Can we test that? Uh, two, one, two. We need one more 16 pin to get to that. I don't know if we can do that. So these little things right here, these little things kind of slot out. These are going to be for the bigger cards that have um, kind of brackets on the back that's going to slot into this piece to kind of keep them keep them in there from moving around. Uh, we don't have any of those, obviously. So yeah, it doesn't look like there's a fourth or a, a third PCI, rather. What if I have a splitter? Let me see if I have a splitter. I'd like to put the 4080 in here and see how it see how it runs. Um, anyways, sorry, I digress. Um, yeah.
let's take this uh, this M.2 apart. Let's see what it is. So yeah, M.2. Um, here it is, little little slide, little carriage here. It's kind of cute. I like that. Um, looks like we have one single screw here, one single Phillips screw. So let's put this boy in here and take it out. See what it does. So I've unscrewed that. How do you come out here? Slot up. There's little arrows that are pointing up. May have to take this entire screw out. Let's see. Doesn't look like I do. No, I think that's a keeper in there. How do you come apart? Oh, it looks like you just come. Oh! One on the side. Yeah, so let's pull this guy on the side here. Does it fit? Does it fit? Got another bit. All right, bits, 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 bits. Little screwdriver, handy dandy screwdriver set. I got a link down below. I love this thing. Um, don't even know who it's made by. Fanic? Xiaomi? Yeah, man, this thing is slick. It was like 30 bucks on Amazon. It is a game changer if you do a lot of disassemblies, a lot of IT work. Um, works very well. So, and also, whenever the magnet gets loose, see how the magnet didn't work? Not picking the screw up. This thing has a little magnet thing here on the bottom where you hold it for a couple seconds. Just gonna run it here. This little piece right here, you just kind of magnetize it. And then, look at that, isn't that neat? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Works very well, while I should do a review on this little screwdriver set. I've had it for about a year. Okay, so I need to get a little bit bigger bit here. Um, luckily, I have a ton. It's in here. All right. So, yeah, there we go. That just comes apart. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, so what do we got here? So, PCI Gen 4 SSD. Um, nothing too special here. Focus. Focus. Um... PCI Gen 4 SSD. Looks like model number is KR0K2. Sorry. Looks like model number is KR0KP2G SK500. So that is a SK Hinks drive. Oh, SK Hinks on the bottom. Look at that. I'm blind. Um, yeah, so um, SK Hinks SSD Gen 4. Nice little handy dandy drive. They couldn't be, you know, normal and just slot it on the board, but I guess it's a different motherboard configuration and chassis. So, yeah, that's it. A uh, little, a little bit of a heat transfer on the bottom, heat transfer tape on the front. So that's nice to see that it's on both sides. Um, so it looks like super easily upgradable. So we're just gonna take this dude, slot him in here. Keep in mind it only slots in one way. That's in there. So it looks like th this screw actually holds down the M.2 drive in here. So. Um, yeah, keep that in mind. So just align these two screws here. Okay, looks like we're gonna come in from the side. Okay, so there's this little side piece right here. <laughs> side piece. Um, that's gonna go in this slot right here. So we're just gonna slide him in there. Kind of pivot that over. And it's gonna line up our holes right here. Let me charge my little screwdriver again. For my bit, get it magnetized. Um, and we'll put in these screws. So really, that's kind of wild. The only time you need a screwdriver for this thing is if you're upgrading the drive, unless you're doing some serious surgery, but let's be real. I mean, this thing's gonna come with at least a four or five year warranty. Um, most people who buy these things run them for about five years. Um, so if you're gonna have any issues, it's gonna be under warranty. Um, but if you wanna upgrade it, super easily upgradable. Um, so two screws on the side of this cage and one screw on top that holds in the M.2 drive. Um, go ahead and put this guy in here. There we go, M.2, yeah, that is slick. Uh, let's go ahead and slot this guy back in here. Let me pull up Gertha. Oh, yeah, Gertha. Yeah, let's look at that. Just kind of slides in there in the middle. Um, let's move this dude around. So, it's going to have the size right there on the front. It's going to read correct. Looks like we're just going to slide this right here in the middle. Slide him in here. As soon as it goes. Maybe this one. Eh, it's going to go this way. It has to go this way. 
I don't think it goes that way. Look at that. Slides in right there. All right. So yeah, um, wording is opposite of I feel like what it should be. So kind of upside down, but as you can kind of see, that's what it's gonna look like right there. So yeah, that is pretty much a disassembly this whole thing. Um, nothing too exciting. So let's go ahead and pop on the CPU cord. Um, gonna route these PCI power cables back in their little holes. Locked in. Cooler, it's gonna have directional flow here, so you're gonna wanna make sure this is flowing towards the back of the chassis. Um, move that guy out of the way. And this guy is just going to slide right on here. These little pieces right here, these are gonna go in these holes. So just gonna line them up and it should click and click, there we go. That's it, super easy. Very, very easy to get inside this thing. Um, to put on this piece, uh, these keepers go towards the top. These bottom things right here, gotta go towards the bottom. You're just gonna slide in. There you go, slots it in right there. Um, again, little slider here, poke that out, lock that in. And then to lock it, we have these little buttons right here. Lock, locked in, she ain't going nowhere. Um, yeah, so that is it, guys. Um, in the next video, we're going to be doing a benchmark of this machine, so stay tuned for that. Um, we're going to see how this thing runs, doing some renders, doing some um, kind of compute workflows. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get the side panel back on. Again, latches right here. And there it is. So this is the disassembly and kind of review of the Dell Precision 5820 workstation i9 Extreme Series. Um, yeah, stay tuned for the next video.